Ellen, uh, I brought you a gift as well. You did? Yeah. I love gifts. Yeah. I love giving them. Oh, what is it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, it's a stethoscope. Scrubs is a hospital show, and oh, I thought I'd bring a that's, stethoscope. No, that's great. Right. That's, uh, let me, let me see if I can... <laughs> I don't play a doctor. I don't know what to do with this. But that's, it's great to have, just in case I'll ever need to... You never know. No, you don't, you don't know when no. I'll need to uh, ask someone to cough. Yeah, or if you, if, you, if you have a relatively boring guest, you could check their pulse. And yeah. <laughs> Hello, well, it'll on be, national TV. Yeah. Well, all I'll do is I'll do that without saying anything, and then it'll be an inside joke between all of us. Yeah, yeah, that'd be great. All right. I love that. We'll know they're boring, but nobody else will. Outstanding. Well, thanks for being on the show. Thanks I, for having me. I, I, I think that you're very funny, and I, I can't imagine the uh, words that you need to learn in order to do that character. You just ramble off the most difficult dialogue. I'm so impressed by that. Well, the, the biggest, the trickiest thing is we're handed pages pretty late um, because the rewrites happen all, all the way up until we shoot. Uh, and the, the base, the root of all medical terms is Latin. And so when I was growing up, you know, uh, I just, I, I'm 44, and I just missed having to learn Latin at Catholic school. And so now it, it feels like there's some retribution happening because it's catching up with me. And so, you know, when you have to say pericardal sac, uh, I mean, come on. Yeah. And, and especially in, with other words, you don't just walk around and just saying that one thing, pericardal sac. And here's the sac. inside scoop. Um, make it funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You do make it funny. Thank You're, you. you. You really are hysterical. And, and do you enjoy playing that character so, so angry and gruff? And I, I think he's a, a TV ancestor of, of like Ed Asner and, and, uh, and Danny DeVito. Yeah. So that, uh, do you know, Mary Tyler Moore's boss w would, would teach Mary with a, a spoonful of dirt, a spoonful of dirt, and then a cup of sugar. Uh -huh. um, and he'd give her a hug in the bottom of the ninth, but uh, if she was really in trouble, but if she, if she told anybody, you know, he'd deny it. Right. And so I think that's where my character, Dr. Cox, comes from. I think he functions from love. Yeah, so it is. It's, it's a lovable character. Uh, it has to be, because when I auditioned for it, um, it was just, he was just pretty much Mr. Tough Guy. And um, I had, uh, my son had just been born. Uh, Max was born with special needs. He was born with Down syndrome. And I didn't want to be responsible for perpetuating meanness at all times. Mm -hmm. And so I said, what if we sprinkle in just a, a little windows of redemption or a little bit of love every once in a while? It, uh, that's what happened. And uh, I couldn't believe they assimilated that note into the character. It's, it's very, very layered. It's very sweet and, 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 and impressive. You, so you, you shoot in an actual hospital, right? We do. About uh, 20 blocks from here. It's a defunct, empty hospital. Uh, it's about five stories. And uh, it's kind of like when we shot Platoon in the Philippines in that uh, we were in the jungle. So you didn't have to act like you were in the jungle because you right. damn sure were. And so in the hospital, you don't have to, you know, create the hospital. It's people, you know, expired and were cured there. Right. Just like the dressing rooms, they're old hospital rooms. Right. Well, this is, this is actually an old joke factory that shut down in the 30s. <laughs> and uh, so it's not hard for us. We, we just, you can just smell the jokes and old leftover jokes everywhere. <laughs> they're echoing. And, and I read also, because, you know, I do uh, extensive research. I was yes. up all night studying about you. You, you have a circus degree? Um, well, at, at NYU, one of, the, one of the first parts of the curriculum was uh, juggling. And uh, I don't know why, but it seemed important at the time. And, uh, what do you juggle? Can you juggle those? I guess I could juggle any three objects. <laughs> any three. I, I've only gotten to two. If you... I don't know how I would do three. Well, two is good. That's, yeah, that, that's, that'll do the that's trick. plenty. There's no need to juggle more than two. <laughs> yeah. Well, listen, you, uh, you were uh, a very talented guy. I, I, I loved having you on the show. Nice meeting you. And, and come back and see us, will you do I would that? love to come back anytime. All right, John C., whatever what C, what C stands for. Christopher. <laughs>